So, so Pastor Mike, tell me, how did you meet Jesus? I met Jesus in prison. Um, a man uh, named Chad Watts was a uh, visiting um, minister who used to come into prison and visit the people. But at the time, you know, he came in and I wasn't really interested. But um, he said to me, would you like to know Jesus? And I said, at the time, not really. But I thought, I'll come along, you know, like you do. And we sat in the cell with him and he said, would you like to feel the power of the Holy Spirit tonight? And again, I was a bit scared for you know, and uh, all right. Yeah. And he prayed, and me being a non-believer, he prayed and the Holy Spirit came. I'd never experienced, experienced it before, but as a man who robbed posters of most of his life and, and banks and things, it scared me because my hair stood up and I felt different. And that was the first change as a, as a, as a man, that was the first change coming from being a big man who robbed everything to being a man who was afraid. I started to fear the Holy Spirit and uh, he prayed for me and I was just a bit sceptical for weeks afterwards and he came again. And uh, we became good friends, uh, me and this uh, brother. And over the years, he kept in contact with me. And then, I think it was David who uh, came to me and said, would you like to come to church? I'm sure it was David, first of all, in the world screen, so it's that all of And I said, all right. And I was still a bit sceptical, you know. I'd known about the Holy Spirit. I knew that there was a power there, but I couldn't explain it, so I wasn't born again properly. But I went to the church one day, and um, they was preaching you and I. I sat right at the back with some brothers and sisters, you know, and uh, the pastor kept looking at me, and I felt as if he was trying to pick on me, you know what I mean, when he sat back to church, he trying to hide, you think, I'm a bit embarrassed, I don't really know what's going on, and they were all holding their hands up, you know, praising the Lord, and I thought, whatever's going on here, what are they doing, who they waiting at, I was looking, and I thought, they're all nervous, <laughs> I really wanted to know, and then I got there, and, uh, and the pastor, looked at me and come over and chat. No, I thought no more of it. Then the second week I went there, my life changed. And the pastor says, is there anyone here who doesn't know Jesus? And I thought, I've had prayer, but I don't know if I've seen him in my life yet. And it was so hard for me to get up. I'm a, I'm a man who's always done it himself and always been a big man. But when I stood up, and I stood up shaking, and um, he said, come forward. And as I went forward, I felt like I had lost conquer on my legs. That's how I felt. It was so hard to walk to Jesus. That's what I felt like. It was so hard to walk to Jesus. The matter the time I got to him, I think it was in the past, the time I got to him, I was trying. I was trying, and my heart was changing. And, uh, and I gave my life to Jesus, and um, nothing really happened that day, but I felt changed. So in the following uh, week, I come again. Talk a bit more to you, to you, brother and sister. And I had a bad leg at the time, I was just for this because I always have a leg in locked up. Every situation was locked up three weeks. A bad car was. And I was, and uh, the pastor's wife said, Would you like prayer? And I said, uh, Of course. Because I was on practice in the middle of the church. And um, I said, Yes. And she laid hands on me for it. I remember it now. It, it frightened me, mostly. And my eyesight went. Oh, I went blind for a minute or two. And I felt this power coming as a fire. Mm -hmm. And I felt my leg burning. And I, and I was, as a man, I was quite shocked, to be honest with you, because I was still a bit funny about it, believing all that. But I was quite shocked. And my leg straightened out. And that just caused me to cry. I don't know, just picking the crisis up and it was gone. It unlocked in the church. And that was it. That was it for me. I knew what God could do. And I knew there was nothing he couldn't do. I knew it. You know, praise the Lord.